Welcome back. So I wanted to do a video on Dirty PCB and KiCat because I've learned KiCat uh, lately. With Dirty PCBs, it doesn't support the uh, output file directly, the uh, KiCat underscore PCB. So you have to plot them as Gerber's files. Let's open the PCB file. Then we will do a file plot. Now, we want Gerbers, so what I've done, I made another directory for Gerbers, and you have to select Gerber, and uh, you will select these uh, layers, which are important for your fabrication. Copper layers, silk screen, uh, solder mask, you have to use the edge cuts. These are the settings I have, plot footprints, values, references, and such, so, and then, you also have to select use Pro Tool file name extensions. So what happens? I can show you if you click plot now. You get these uh, file extensions which has GTL. If you don't do that, you will get the GBR for every file. So include extended attributes. I'm not sure what all of this is. Okay, so now you have created the uh, Gerber files. You can look inside the directory. Into Gerber's new project. And here you go. So, and one thing you need to do, this is something that happens in 2014, I think. They changed KiCad to rename GML to GM1. So you have to rename it back to GML. I don't know why this is so. Anyhow, like this, or else you will get a complaint from Dirty PCBs when you try to upload it. So going back, we need the drill files also, generate drill file, and you get this window and it says, um, I will put them in the same directory. So you have Gerber's here, inches, decimal format, that's important. And then Gerber, and here is a little, a little clue, uh, if you don't merge the plated through hold and non-plated through hold holes into one file. Don't do that, you will get two files if you have a non-plated hole. In Dirty PCBs they don't accept two drill files, you get an error message from them. Some board houses support it, but I can quickly show you what happens. Okay, so you get two drill files and you can see I will delete these two drill files now. There you go, so we merge them. You see, you get only one file, so let's make a zip file, however way you do that, it's up to you, but I do it in this way, I get the Gerbers, I take the Gerber file into PCB, okay, so there's a file, click open, for this board it was larger than 5, so, and I want green, uh, 1.6 and that doesn't matter right now and then you can try add to cart and you can see now it starts to render so let's have a look at that render okay so now you can see you got that hole here that was uh, what I was worried about because if you get two drill files one with plated through holes all of these are plated through holes and then the one without plated through holes and then if you just delete that file of course this one will just be gray here so so let's have a look at lay report and uh, then you can see board outline that was okay it has found the drill file found the top layers you can see top overlay still screen it's still screen so it, all of this is true so that's something you should look out for um, and remember that you had to uh, change GM1 to GML, so now it's not complaining. I can show you that. What happens if you... let's do this over again. So let's say, okay, let's go over. So, file, plot, Gerber's, plot, generate file. Let's say we did merge them, okay, do file. So that's it, let's uh, 
Zip them. Delete the old one. Zip it. There you go. Back to uh, dirty PCB. And let's try this again. Maybe I should uh, remove the board first. Not sure. I'm not sure if that's important. But um, Gerber. Um, green 1.6 add to cart there you can see <laughs> no board or outline right so this part of the video is just uh, telling you what will happen if you don't do the suggestions I uh, made for you so so GM1 is GML Windows will complain because you're changing a uh... yeah Okay, so GML. Let's go back, do it over again, see what happens. Zip. Gerber zip. Now I think I can uh, edit. So I don't have to do everything over again. So 10 green, 1.6, save. And now it should render. And uh, let's have a look at layer report. Look, we have an error here. I don't know why it didn't say that, but you have to check these things. So it says uh, multiple drill files. Yeah. That was what I was talking about. So if I stupidly just remove it, then I'm missing a hole, right? So that shouldn't work. You can try it. Go back. Do an edit. Save. PCB not found. Hold on. Save. Okay. Now we don't have an error on the board line anymore, but if we go back, you can see that this uh, whole hair is gray, right? This is supposed to be white, you know? So if you say blue background, you can see you don't get any blue in there. Yeah, so that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, the start of the video I did the exact thing you need to do and then after that I start messing with <laughs> what happens if you don't what they tell you to do so now I'm not uh, going to order this part so I'm you know this is just what uh, the, the web page tell you another thing is that when the board house get your files uh, something they might find something not working with the the um, Gerber files, so, but then you will get an email, most likely, about that, so, yeah.